Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Just wanted to tell you guys a little story of what happened to me today. I was dropping some stuff off at the post office and decided to swing by a yard sale that I had seen signs for from the post office. So as I went to the first yard sale, really didn't see anything that I wanted and was driving around the block to get back home and actually saw a second one. Decided to stop in, took a look around, saw some TVs that were kind of cool, some of the older ones, like they used to have the dials that I used to have when I was a kid, that I would, you know, stay up all night watching Arsenio Hall. Does anybody know who Arsenio Hall is? Yeah, I'm old. Never mind. Uh, moving on. The lady and I get to talking and come to find out she's having the yard sale uh, because her mother-in-law has passed away. Very unfortunate thing. Uh, it, it also happened to me last year. So we're bonding over this, and I decide, well, I'm going to buy something because we've bonded. It's the thing to do. So I pick up some CDs. Nothing fantastic, just some CDs. And just as I'm about to leave, I notice three different games. I notice Road Rash 2 for the Sega Genesis. I notice Video Olympics for the Atari 2600. And I notice countermeasure for the Atari 5200. I ask how much they are, and she says 50 cents for all three. I say, okay. So as I'm about to start paying, she says, well, do you have an Atari? I said, well, no, I haven't, you know, been able to find one lately, but I'm on the lookout for one. She says, well, I have one. I'll sell it to you. Now, I only had $10 in my pocket. Realizing this isn't enough, I say, well, you know, I didn't bring that much money uh, but I'll it, go ahead and show me what you have, and I'll go to the ATM and come back. Uh, ATM, automatic teller machine, by the way. For I don't know what everybody calls it anywhere else. She comes away with a box that has this little beauty in it. That's right. The Atari video computer system. The four-switch kind. Of course, the switches are up here on top. Uh, to include, it did include a power cord. Had to repair it a little bit. No problem, though, for ten bucks. Fantastic deal, right? Yeah. No, there was more in the box that she basically wouldn't let me pay any more for. Three of the original Atari controllers. Now, I've tested them. One always fires. One doesn't go up. And this one works just fine. So, one out of three working. Still cool. Ten bucks. Still good, right? Now, this is the Sears Telegames. Or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's basically an Atari 2600. Just, it's got six switches on it. That's a little bit different. For whatever reason, they scratched that off. I don't really mind. And it's got the plugs on the back. But, that was in there too. Also in the box was not one, but two Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Complete with hookups and three of the original controllers. This one had none other than Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt in it. We're also two Super Nintendo controllers. Now, underneath all that were all of these. These are 2600 games, 7800 games, a few Super Nintendo games, some... Genesis games, Nintendo 64 games, and a whole host of what are these? 5200? Yes, 5200 games as well. There's probably a list scrolling by. A lot of them are duplicates. Uh, for instance, there's the Defender, red and blue. Same cover, but don't get it.
put all these in the box too. All this for ten bucks. By far my most impressive pickup from a yard sale or anywhere else as far as I'm concerned. I now have the ability to play the 2600 games, which I've never owned a 2600 before, so that's a really big deal for me. Uh, my son seems a little eh, about it. Well, my nine-year-old. My three-year-old thinks that this is the coolest thing ever because he can understand what's going on. Because he's three, and it's the Atari. It's got blocks and bullets and occasionally things make noise. Uh, oh, also in that group of games are some good ones, some really good ones, like Yar's Revenge, which I love, and Defender, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, but there's also a copy of E.T. in there. So, yeah. Uh, look for me putting up some gameplay videos of those in the future. And as always, play on.